what I'm trying to set up here is a thermostat control fan and this is a 12 volt fan and this thermostat here uh, requires a 12 volt input so I am making a small power supply but I don't really want to use like a, uh, a power supply that is 12 volt I want to be able to plug it into a USB output and um, in order to boost the voltage to 12 volt I have to use a voltage booster so this is what I'm using and right now I'm just adjusting the voltage potentiometer here to about 12 volt a little over is okay it can be 13 volt or so so okay I've made the connection uh, the power supply from the USB through the voltage booster boosted to 12 volt so it goes in the power uh, positive and negative and the output on the cooling side because I'm using it for cooling is connected to the fan here and I think I've set it for 80 86 degrees so when the temperature goes above 86 degree the fan will go on Now the um, the digital thermostat uh, is more refined and uh, is more precise but then it also draws a little more power. This one here draws about 0.1 watt so it, it uses very little power and I plugged in the um, USB doctor just to check to see what the whole thing would draw and I'm gonna turn it on and you can see um, I will probably take a picture of this uh, and uh, it will be at the end of the video so in case I lose this piece of paper I'll know what position the dip switch is should be set to get a particular temperature okay so I have my finger on the thermostat the sensor here and when it reach uh, 86 degree the fan turn on and when the fan is on it's drawing about between 0.4 amps at 4.93 volt between 0.38 to 0.45 let's assume it's 0.4 amps and uh, 0.4 times 4.95 that makes it less than 2 watts so now I have a um, thermostatically controlled fan using 2 watts uh, boosted from 5 volt to 12 volt and uh, this will run my cooling fan you can use the cooling fan for whatever purpose you want uh, inside your incubator or whatever I'm, I'm gonna use it to cool my LCD TV and this is the USB connected connector that I salvaged from another part and I just soldered the positive and negative and uh, after you solder, uh, you just check and make sure that you're getting 5 volt. And I'll probably uh, put some hot glue in just to to make it uh, to act as like a strain relief. And then I'm gonna tape tape this up. And this I will probably mount it on something solid, maybe a block of wood, probably something like this. So it would. Uh, probably something like this so that it would be more secure now of course uh, you do this at your own risk uh, 
these parts I don't know if they you are certified or CE or whatever so everything you do do at your own risk okay um, so oh yeah um, voltage booster use less than 0.1 volt here yeah, I checked and uh, everything together like I said less than 2 watts yeah Okay, thanks for watching.